Hi, my name is Jerry Badwani, and today we will cover the install process for the Steel Central NetIM version 202. The steps involved are downloading the NetIM Virtual Edition OVA files, deploying the OVA files, and then configuring the VMs created by those OVA files. NetIM is now a Docker based containerized application. First, we log on to the Riverbed support site. Once in the account, click on Software and Documentation on the top menu bar. Then we select Steel Central Network Performance Management. Then Steel Central NetIM Virtual Edition. This page displays the latest version of the product by default. Selecting version 202, we need to download the full installer options for the core and microservices OVA file. Next, we will log in to the vSphere web client. We are going to create three VMs from the two OVA files we downloaded. Two from the microservices OVA and one from the core OVA. First, we will create the manager node using the microservices OVA file. Select your host resource and click on Deploy OVA. Here, select the local file downloaded from the Riverbed site. Remember, all virtual infrastructure on which NetIM is deployed must be located in the same data center. Click Next so you can change the name of this VM. Also select Thick Provisioning as the virtual disk format. Then click Next and Finish. As you can see, the Manager node has been created. However, it will take a few minutes for it to deploy and none of the options will be enabled until the VM is fully deployed. In the meanwhile, we will go ahead and create the core VM in a similar fashion but from the core OVA file. Here we will select the core OVA file Then click next so you can change the name of this VM Again, select Thick Provisioning as a virtual disk format. Then click Next and Finish. Next, we will proceed to create the worker node. This will be the second one from the same microservices OVA file. Like the previous two VMs, configure and click Next until done. As you can see, the worker node does not have any of its options enabled as the deployment process is still going on. We will now look to edit the resources on the VMs. All the three VMs in this video require similar resources and they are all listed in great detail in the NetIM installation guide document. This document is available on the support site. For a start, the ESXi servers running version 6.5 or 6.7 and above should have enough resources to support at least the following. Three or more virtual machines, each with four virtual CPUs, 16 GB of RAM per VM and 175 GB of storage per VM. Also, as a side note, 
vMotion should be disabled for all the NetIM VMs. Once all the VMs are deployed, go ahead and power on all the three VMs. Now select the manager node, right click and open console. We will begin configuring the manager node first. Enter the username and password to login. The initial setup will automatically launch. Enter the host name of the system. Next you will be asked to configure DHCP. I have not configured DHCP but you can do so. IP addresses must either be statically assigned like I have done here or permanently reserved if you select DHCP. Next enter the IP address of the manager node. Followed by the subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server IPs and domain names for the VM. IPv6 is optional. We are going to skip it here. After this, we will get a review of all the information we have entered. Next, we have to configure our clock for the manager node. Select the time zone and enter the IP address for the NTP server. You also get an option to change the password of the manager node. I have skipped it here. The VM role is the role this node will play in the docker swarm that we are creating. The manager node is the leader of the swarm. Enter 1 for manager role. Advanced docker configuration is only needed if your network is part of certain subnets that are utilized by the internal docker engine. These can be modified here. This is now the end of our configuration of the manager node. You will see the various docker services restarting and the manager node is now deployed. You can check the status of the swarm by running the command show nodes. We will now proceed to deploy the worker node in a similar fashion. Log in, enter the desired hostname, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server address, domain name, and IPv6 configuration. Remember to configure the time zone for all the three VMs identically. The only difference here would be the VM role value. The worker node is assigned a value of 2. Next. We will enter the IP address of the manager node. This will enable the worker node to be part of the docker swarm of which the manager is the leader. And yes, one swarm can only have one manager. The docker services will be restarted after the configuration. You will see a confirmation message as well. We will now switch over to the manager node to verify by running the command docker node ls. Before we deploy the core node, I want to show you all something. The command status all is used to check the status of the NetIM services on the manager node. These are not docker services and this command can only be run from the NetIM shell. Note down the value of the tenant stack in the square shown. This value of 1 will have to be entered during the deployment of the core node. 
Next, we shall go ahead and start all the services by running the start all command from the NetIM shell. This will take a few minutes. In the meanwhile, we shall proceed with the deployment of the core node. In the same manner, right click on the core node and open console. Enter the hostname, DHCP, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server, domain name and IPv6 configuration if needed. Again, we shall set identical time zones for the core node. We will have to enter the IP address and the login password for the manager node to enable the core to join the swarm as well. This is exactly like the step we performed for the worker node. After skipping advanced docker configuration, the services will restart and now we will have to enter the tenant value saved up from the previous VM installment. The NetIAM core application is now being set on the VM. Once this is done, the core services will begin to initiate. You will be able to log into the web UI and enter the licenses. A restart of the core services will be required after the licenses are deployed. Logging on to the manager node, we can verify that the core was successfully added to the docker swarm again by running the command docker node ls. Make sure to check out the install guide PDF available on the Riverbed website for additional information on any of the steps described in this video. And as always, thank you for watching.